Hey everyone, it's me, Net817. I know I have been gone for a couple weeks. I think it's like going on a month maybe. And I've just been so busy with life and everything, looking for jobs. Um, my little sister is here for the summer. We went on vacation to Texas and yada, yada, yada. So you know how that gets. Sometimes you just have to take a step back and uh, just breathe for a minute. So anyway, I'm here to share with you my current favorites. I know I haven't done favorites in a couple of months. So I wanted to share with you some new things that I've been enjoying. And I hope you guys will stay tuned. So I have two things to show you here that I use for my face and body. The first one here is this light body oil. This is by the brand Kroger. And this compares to the Neutrogena sesame oil, I believe. This stuff is so good. Like after you get out the shower, you just kind of pat dry. Put this on your skin, it just sinks in. And the smell is just so light and oh, it just smells so good. So I've been enjoying that. Again, this is the Light Body Oil by Kroger. If you guys have the Kroger um, grocery stores in your area, you should be able to find it. And the good thing about this is that it's only $3.99. Next here I have these, what are these, Up and Up Baby Wipes for Sensitive Skin. They come in the purple pack and I picked these up from Target. And these are so good at helping to remove my makeup at the end of the night and just getting like kind of that pre-wash going on. So I've been loving these. They're really strong, durable, and they're very inexpensive as well. I don't know if you guys can tell that I have gotten quite darker. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can see it right there. Look at that suntan. So I've been kind of scrambling, trying to make things work, trying to find foundations and all that. So I ended up purchasing this again. I had it before, um, maybe in the, the fall, winter months, something like that. And I ended up giving it to my sister because it was too dark. And now I had to repurchase it, and I love it. And it is the Kiss BB Cream. And this is in the shade medium. I have that on today. I absolutely love it. Um, the coverage is really nice. It feels very light on the skin like I have nothing on at all. And I just really like that. So that's what I'm wearing now. And then I've been liking this Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. And this one is in the shade 168, which is kind of more yellow tone. And, you know, sometimes I'll sweep this all over my face if I want to kind of tone down a foundation that might be kind of on the warm side. And this is what that looks like. So I've been loving that as well. Another new product that I've been using and testing out is the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. And that has those two foundation shades in there. This one is in level 16. And I've been trying to learn how to contour with creams. That <laughs> Excuse me. I've been trying to learn how to contour with creams, and that's something that I've never really done before. I just usually use a powder, but I picked this up. This is level 16, which I believe is the darkest, and I really like this. I still have to kind of get the hang of it and learn how to, you know, really blend it out, but I did put that on today, but I did, I think I topped it with my Black Radiance powder, but I've really been enjoying this one right here. So next, I have this Ben Nye Media Pro Ma Mojave Adjuster, I believe that's what it's called. And this one is in the shade Sienna Orange. And this was a recent buy, um, maybe last month or so. Now this is something I don't use every day, and I know you guys have already seen the other two shades I have, which are the yellow and the like pure orange shade. This one, however, is more of like a, I don't know, I guess it's a Sienna color like it says. But this one, it looks like it's a dupe for the MAC corrector in ochre I believe I think that the colors are like identical and this shade right here it's absolutely perfect for me for concealing you know dark blemishes and things like that on my skin and like dark under eye circles and stuff like that this color is perfect um I haven't been reaching for it too much now just because it's really really hot and I'm trying to keep you know as many layers off of my skin as I can like today I have a lot of hyperpigmentation going on, but I didn't put on any concealer except for like under my eyes and just that BB cream. But if you guys are looking for a good corrector, this one is the Ben Nye Media Pro Mojave Adjuster in Sienna Orange. I picked this up at Nocasco and it was $9.50 if you guys can see that. Okay, so this one is going to shock you guys. I know that I had totally hated this product <laughs> I just stuck it in a drawer I went crazy trying to find it first of all when it first came out and I didn't like the way it performed I just kind of stuck it to the side and then I learned a tip on how to use it or how to get it to work for me from someone on YouTube I can't remember she's really popular too but I can't remember her name and anyway I'm talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and the shade I have is in chocolate and that's what it looks like 
and now I absolutely love this stuff it works so well so this is what it looks like inside and as you can see I've been putting a little dent in it and the reason why I like it now more so than before is because before it was just a little bit too creamy it didn't feel like it set it took too long to kind of like set in place on my brows the girl I was watching was doing her eyebrow tutorial using this and I noticed how much drier hers was and it just went on much more easier it didn't I don't know, I just didn't move around too much and I was like, wow, you know, mine looks nothing like that. So she suggested I leave the top off of it. So I did that for about maybe half the day or something like that and now I love this product. I don't have it on today but I've been using this daily and I've just been absolutely loving it. And another thing I've been liking for my brows, of course, is the MAC Spiked Pencil. Everyone knows what that looks like. That's what I use today. Um, I love this pencil. I love the thin point on it. Ugh, I just <laughs> I just love the pencil. And finally for my brows, this brush is from Coastal Scents. It is the BRB718. Let me turn that around so you can see it. But this brush right here is just a really small angle brush and that's what I use to apply my concealer to clean up under my eyebrows. So I really like this brush. It's nice and thin. It's still firm enough so it definitely helps to shape up under your eyebrow. So another thing I have been enjoying is the City Color Blush Quad. This is in number two, collection number two. And I like this. I got this from five... Five below I believe it just has really nice coral shades in there I absolutely love it I've been reaching for this one the most and that is what I have on my cheeks today if you can even see it I'm not even sure now I have some lip products here this one is something fairly new to me but uh, I really like this color this is the NYX butter gloss in the shade praline and I really like this because it's a deep enough nude so here it is right there so it's kind of like my lips but better color and I like to use this on top of a nude lipstick that might be a little too nude or too light and this just helps to tone that down and make it more wearable without having to do like the whole lip liner and all that. And then also here is the J Cat lip the J Cat Wonder lip paint and this one is in the shade where is it? always late rabbit and it's just a really really pretty purplish pink and I know I have to do swatches on these you guys I know I'm just so behind but I'm gonna swatch this so you can see that color is so pretty and that's what that one looks like right there and let me blend it out a little bit I don't know if you'll get the true color but that's what it looks like they're so nice I, I just really love these for $2.99 you cannot beat that I know I keep bringing up Norcosco, but I had been there a couple of times to uh, sit in on some makeup classes. And so, you know, I picked up things while I was there. So another thing that I've been enjoying, and I had this for a little while, and my brushes are falling out. This is the Benjabel Brush Tree. And as you can see, it just holds all your brushes, kind of, <laughs> in place while they're drying. But this one is like, I don't know if you can see how big that is. So for the Real Techniques brushes, those fit in there just fine, but for smaller brushes, your eye brushes and things like that, you have to jam in a whole bunch to make them stay and not fall out. And I've taken some brushes out, that's why they're all over the place. But I really like this, I can't remember the, the price on this, but I did pick it up at Norcosco, so if you're in the Atlanta area, you don't have to order anything online, you can just go into the store. I believe they also have this in black and maybe white. But it's really handy. You know, I just stick my brushes in there, put it to the side, and let them dry. And another thing I've been enjoying for my brushes is the Parian Spirit. This is so good. I'm so glad I picked this up. Um, I saw C-Key Key Beauty. She did a review on this. And she just said how phenomenal it was. And I picked it up and I love it. Now this little dish right here, or this little jar. Oh no, I closed it too tight. <laughs> Oh, I can't even open it. Okay, well anyway, there's this little disc that sits in there and it has like, it's like kind of like cross hatch. So you fill up the product, you know, you fill it up with the product and then you take your brush and you just kind of swirl it around in the bottom and it just gets all that gunk and everything out. And what I really like about the Perry and Spirit is that it has a really nice citrus scent. It doesn't smell like chemically or anything. So I really like that about it. And it does help your brushes dry much faster. Even if you, you know, like I wash my brushes and then I'll dip it in here just to make sure they're disinfected. So this works really well. And I've been using the, what is this, Dr. Bronner's uh, Castile Soap and Peppermint. And I've been using that instead of the liquid to clean my brushes because that liquid I just go through so fast. So this works really well. So I wash my brushes with this and then follow up with the Perry and Spirit and it just works so great. And finally, my last item from Norcosco, that is, is the Cinema Secrets Moisture Spray. I 
don't know how I stumbled across this. I was just looking around. I saw it. I said, let me try it out. And I really like this. Now, this retails for $10. Um, you get four ounces in here. And this is kind of like your Fix Plus. You just spray it on. You know, it makes your face not look so powdery it kind of brings life back to your face it moisturizes the skin and it just works really well so i've definitely been enjoying this and finally i think this is the last item last two items i showed this in a haul which was probably like the last video i did this is the neutrogena pure and free liquid sunscreen oh i've been loving this so much ever since i got it now i'm gonna tell you when i first got it like Okay, for African American skin or people with darker skin, when you use pure titanium dioxide, it can tend to make your skin look kind of purple. And that's what was happening with this. And I'm like, oh no. And that's why sometimes I use the sunscreen that has um, the oxybenzone, I think that's what it's called. But I wanted like a real straight up good <laughs> sunscreen. So I went ahead and got this one. It's really liquidy and it goes on. It just sinks right into the skin. Now this one, when I first started using it, I was using too much and I was getting that purple kind of film on my skin. And then I just started using um, a little bit less product and it just works so well. Like now I can't even live without this. I really enjoy this sunscreen. So it works really well under your makeup it doesn't feel heavy you can't even feel like you have it on it just kind of sinks in and it just blocks out those sun rays and that's definitely what i need in this heat because it's been crazy out here <laughs> and finally okay last two things yeah this is the china glaze nail polish and flip flop fantasy and it's just a really pretty orange and i had hauled this before from sally beauty supply and it is flip flop orange and that's what i have on my toes right now so i really like this color and finally, this little spray I picked up at Target, just on a whim. This is Body Ecology Enchanted Forest Fragrance Mist. And this is $2, I believe, and it smells so nice. It's really nice. Um, it's kind of sensuous, I guess, because it has like a kind of muskiness to it. But it says it has jasmine, nutmeg, and it just smells really nice. It's light, so, you know, I don't have to worry about having on a heavy perfume during the summer or whatever. So that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this current favorites video. Um, I do have more videos coming. Trust and believe me. I have an updated skincare regimen that I'm going to share with you. I have some new products that I've been testing out and loving. Um, I still have to do those lip swatches and just, I just have to get caught up. So <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you subscribing and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.